All right, what is going on, guys? My name is Knife Fox, and I want to talk to you, you guys about a few things. First of all, the main thing everyone's been waiting for, well, the Yu-Gi-Oh fans have been waiting for, is the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. I will be taking up signups in the comments below, so make sure you comment. Uh, you know, uh, the same thing, you know, post your uh, gamer tag because it's going to be the 360 version. Make sure it's spelled correctly. Again, the spelling is on you because I'm going to use copy and paste to put you in the bracket. So if it's wrong, it's wrong. If you're going to change your gamer tag, let me know ahead of time. I'm going to give signups a maximum of two weeks, mainly because after one week was gone and Happy Wars tournament, a bunch of people were like, oh, man, I wish I was in the tournament. Oh, man, this and this and that. It's always in the front of the uh, page, channel page go to the channel page check it out I always you know put the new stuff that you guys you know the updates and all that like I put it on the channel page it's there you don't have to like browse through everything it's there guys so yeah go ahead and put your uh, username to sign up below guys you can go ahead and put your YouTube name just in case oh shit I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. All right, so yeah, but you can put your YouTube name just in case because uh, I might need it to verify that it's you. You know, for some reason, if you use uh, YouTube to uh, contact me, last time everyone was using Xbox or they were uh, using Facebook. Facebook was a lot easier for me because I didn't have to look through a bunch of stuff. But Xbox, it's harder because I get a bunch of messages on Xbox. I have like at least eighty messages right now. And that's because it can't go over 100. So I'm reading like 20 messages in a day and trying to reply to people. And I don't have a chat pad. So it's insanely hard. I can't reply to everyone. I don't have enough time to reply to everyone on Xbox. It's actually easier for me to reply to you on uh, YouTube. So when people are like telling me like, oh, you know, how come you haven't replied to me? It's because it's hard. But yeah, just letting you guys know. So go ahead and, you know. Go ahead and uh, sign up for that if you're gonna want to play. We need at least 15 people, at least 15 or plus people, you know, to sign up for a tournament. Cause I'm gonna be in it, so we need at least 15 more people. You know, go ahead and you know, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dog, tell the squirrel in the tree in your backyard. Tell them, you know, cause that squirrel in the tree in your backyard is probably gonna beat my ass. Like first round, I'm gonna have that squirrel, and that squirrel's gonna like beat me with something like. Uh, I don't know, Toon Dick. <laughs> Get me with the Toon Dick. And I will be like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to happen. But I might actually have a loser's bracket. So just letting you guys know, I might have a loser's bracket. I haven't decided. So you're going to have to see the bracket. The reason why I might have a loser's bracket, because I was seeing on the Happy War stuff that, you know, once you guys lost, you guys kind of felt kind of down. And I was like, well, I can make a, a loser's bracket that way, you know. If you do lose, you still get a play. You still get a play, but it's going to be fucking hard as hell to, you know, come back and get first place. But it's possible. It is possible. So I might do that. I might do the loser's bracket for you guys. Also, for the people who are not participating, I will have the $5 as long as we have enough signups. As long as we have enough signups, we, you will be able to predict once the tournament starts. I'll show the bracket and you will be able to predict. I might show a sneak peek of the bracket on Facebook like a day ahead of time. And I had an itch in my eye for a second. But yeah, I might have, uh, you know, on Facebook a day early. But I will not be taking uh, the predictions yet until the video's up. So just letting you guys know that fixed, but it might be up on Facebook, you know, a day early, you know. So check that. So if you want to, you know, know who who's going to be in the tournament and you know who you want to be you know pick for the finals but if i do losers uh bracket what's going to happen is the finals is going to be pretty much the winner and winners and the winner and uh losers bracket going at it in finals because what happens is in uh winners finals the uh loser of winners finals goes to the losers bracket to face the winner of losers uh and losers bracket so you're gonna have to do that and then the the winner of that match is gonna be facing the winner in the winners bracket probably gonna be me just saying <laughs> why would it be me so i'm gonna i expect a lot of sniper fox versus so and so and sniper fox versus this but like i said look at what happened to alpha 
in the Happy Wars uh, tournament. He got knocked out. There could be an upset. Just because, let's say Tony reposted first because he's pretty damn fast sometimes. So let's say Tony got the first vote and he picked Sniper Fox versus some other guy, right? And I lose, like, on the second round. No, I lose to the squirrel <laughs> using a toon deck. <laughs> I lose to the squirrel using a, a toon deck. And, you know, there goes Tony's vote. There goes, you know, he lost his chance of getting $5. So just letting you know, just letting you know, I will give, you know, a chance to the people who want to vote. But if you're participating in the tournament, you can't do the, uh, the vote, I'm sorry. You know, you're you're going for the twenty five dollars. You pretty much have a better chance of getting the twenty five dollars than the five. I'm just giving the five, you know, for you know for the people who wanna still wanna, you know, see who wins and all that and giving them something because not everyone has the games. But yeah, you know, if you win the twenty five dollars or five dollars it's gonna be, you know, Microsoft ports or PayPal or well, if you win five, I, I can't really think of, you know, anything else. I don't think I can give you gold or anything with five. So you're probably going to have to settle with Microsoft points or PayPal, and that's about it. No. Don't know, and I just hit my microphone again. All right, so there's that. If there's any questions, I mean... Oh, wait, no, no, no. The banned cards and the rules. I forget. I can't just say, oh, everything goes. No. Everything does not go. Alright, so rules. The tournament will be hosted like this. The format for the tournament is going to be single. It's going to be, you know, it's not going to be tag. It's going to be singles. The, the round type is going to be single. It's not going to be match. And it's going to be 180 seconds. The reason why I'm saying single instead of match is because what's going to happen is you guys will play one round in singles. You win that round, you get one point. However, the loser can switch his deck if he so chooses. Make sure you know how to actually properly switch your deck because some people be like, I'll go to deck edit and then, you know, pick this deck and then they'll go back into the match and what happens is your deck didn't change. If that happens and you go inside the match, that's all on you. You don't know, you know, the proper way how to switch your deck is what I usually do to be safe is you create the match and you pick your own deck. Like you say, you know, you make the loser makes the match, you put correct deck, you know, pick your, uh, well not create deck, but pick from your deck listing, from your deck recipes, and then, you know, pick that deck that you want to use for that round. Winner may not switch deck. So let's say if I'm, I'm using dragon and then I win, and then all of a sudden I'm using blackwing, you're going to lose that round right there. Just then, you know. And, you know, then you can switch to whatever you want because technically you lost. So then you can switch to whatever you want. It's going to be best out of, you know, three. So obviously the it's the score is either going to be 2-0 or 2-1. and one. Just going to be just like Happy Wars. So best out of three, you know, 2-0 or 2-1. and one. That's how the score is going to be. So you got to win a singles round and then you got to win another singles round and then you win. Then you advance. If you lose, you go probably to the loser's bracket or you just lose. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go with loser's bracket and make it, even though it's a lot more confusing. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Unless I don't have time, then I'm just going to be like, fuck it. I'm not going to not gonna do loser's bracket. But I really want to because, you know, for the Happy Wars guys too. So I, I have experience with that. Alright, so the banned card lists. Well, actually, it's just banned deck. Exodia Library deck is banned. Reason why that's banned is one in three turns. You can pretty much win. Average two turns, sometimes one. Rarely three, and that's usually because you screwed up. So basically, if you're facing that deck, you have one turn to kill him. To destroy his life points, you know, in one turn. Pretty much, and sometimes you don't even get that opportunity. So that's why I'm banning Exodia Library decks. If you have an Exodia deck, that's fine. But if it's Exodia Library deck, you're using you know Mystical Library with Exodia and all that, and uh, uh, it's not gonna fly. You know, I'm just you know take a picture of it, send it to me, whatever. Say he was cheating, he was using that. If for some reason you know uh, someone tells me they were cheating or something like that or blah blah blah, I might have to go into tag and we're gonna have to like it's, i don't know it's it's just it's because you 
it's gonna be weird. I mean, I guess if something like that happens, I'm gonna have to make special rules when I ref the match and tag. I'm probably gonna grab someone, some random guy that I know, or a viewer, or one of your friends or something like that. And I'm gonna be like, all right, so uh, we'll do this. So all right, so I'll you know, we'll see, we'll see. If if problems arise, I please don't give me any problems because I really don't want to go into tag and you know supervise the match, and tell you all these rules because the rules are just gonna be ridiculous. Like if you're using uh, what's that called? The uh, gold whatever. It's gold starts with an S. Go ahead or whatever, it gets you a card in two turns. You won't be able to use that card on your second turn. Like, like if I know you, the uh, enemy will skip. Well, the enemy will skip your, yeah, your ally will skip your turn. Then you'll get the card because, you know, that's the second turn. But you won't be able to use it until the next turn. So you can't just be like, I grab this card and I'm going to use it. No. So it's, it's just going to get confusing. It's just, please, guys, you know, man up and take your losses. Or if you're a woman, woman up. <laughs> So, Exodia Library, not going to fly. That one B card that is bugged to hell. You guys know what I'm talking about if you used it. If you don't know anything about it, then you probably not don't have any in your deck. Basically what it does, it, it sacrifices, uh, it's supposed to sacrifice one of your own monsters in order, if, well, one of its own kind of monsters to, to, uh, negate the opponent's attack and destroy that card what happens when it's alone is it destroys anything that attacks it or it attacks it negates it and attacks it it doesn't sacrifice anything it doesn't sacrifice itself it doesn't sacrifice any other cards it's just bug to hell i'm not gonna have that b card if i see that b card i'm just gonna you know disqualify if you not guys know what i'm talking about you can just look at the effect just look at the effect of the card so you know, guys will know what I'm talking about. So that's pretty much all the rules. Every other deck is, um, I'll say it's legit. It's go for it. You want to use dragons? Go use dragons. Blackwing? Go ahead. Light Swarm? Go ahead. Anything else? Go ahead. I personally think, like I said before, Blackwing is the strongest deck. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to use my Blackwing deck. Like, I, I, I could be repaired. Like, oh, I already know he's going to switch into... Uh, his anti-blackwing deck and I'm used something completely different and now you're screwed and I could just go you know once you switch your deck I'll switch back to blackwing and you know like let's say like like you're trying to anti-blackwing me and I don't use blackwing right then you're fucked because I'll win that round because it's not really good against other decks from what I you know I use my other extra deck I beat it and then you'll switch back to your normal deck and then let's say I do lose which, you know, again, that the deck I have, I have in store. You won't suspect it. You won't anticipate it. It's, you know, it's awesome. <laughs> let's just say that. It's awesome. So let's say that happens and I'll switch a back wing. And that's pretty much an automatic win for me. And, you know, <laughs> that's pretty much an automatic wing for me. And then, you know, black wing versus black wing. Oh, you don't want to go there. You don't want to go get my black wings with your black wings. But, yeah. Oh yeah, just letting you guys know that I'm not gonna, you know, necessarily always start off with black wings. I mean, I thought about it and like I could always play it safe and just go black wing. But then I was like, well, I do want to use this other deck. It's awesome. I got. It would be awesome if I win with it. <laughs> Let's just say that I'm, you know, I, I really want to use it, especially since if we do a losers bracket, I'm definitely gonna showcase it. I'm gonna just be like, I'm gonna use this deck and wreck everyone. <laughs> All right. So, anyways. There's it for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck, so good luck for people who sign up. Make sure you guys show up, play friendly, you know. Please don't, you know, fight. Don't, you know, argue. Don't try to make fake accounts. <laughs> don't do none of that, please. All right. Thank you. All right. So next, we're going to talk about, uh, yeah, Friday we're having Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter is coming out for Happy Wars on Friday. So that's pretty awesome, you know. I get paid on Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think Wednesday. I get paid on Wednesday from YouTube, which today is actually Tuesday, but I think this is up on Wednesday. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna tell you guys when I how much I made this uh, month. Well, I think it's November, the month of November. It might be December. I'm pretty sure it's November though. It usually tells me though. 
So I'll, you know, I'll know. So I'll let you guys know the money, how much I made for that, because, you know, I don't, I don't, I'll notify you guys when I am playing. So again, check Facebook. That's the easiest way. Don't tell me where's Facebook. Go to my channel page. It's on the banner, on the bottom right of the banner. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I told so many people that I feel like a broken record. It's just check the channel page, guys. It's not that hard. Just click Sniper Fox, you know, X Sniper Fox XZ. Done. You're on the main channel page. You're there. <laughs> Everything is there. If it's not, then it's my fault, but it's there. But yeah, just letting you guys know. You know, I'll be playing Bounty Hunter on Happy Wars because I haven't played in a long time. Last time I played was the 1v1 tournament, besides the me refing the matches, but I don't count that as playing, because I was refing matches. I wasn't, you know, playing. That's why I appeared offline when I got on Happy Wars, because I, I wasn't playing. I didn't want you guys thinking I was playing. When I'm playing, I put myself on busy. That way you guys know I'm playing, I'm online. I put myself busy so I don't get the notifications, so. And busy to indicate that I'm actually recording. Because if I put online and I took off notifications, you guys would just be like, is he recording? Is he not recording? So, there's that. That's how you can tell I'm recording. Busy, you know, I'm online, you know, I'm inviting you. Make sure you're actually in the game. I don't know how many times do I have to stress this. There's plenty of people waiting in game for the invite, guys. And if you're in a different game and you tell me, invite you to Happy Wars... I'm going to be giving invites to, like, the new people, of course, because I haven't played in me first. But I'm also going to give it to the old people. The old people already know how to get in. They're going to stay in Happy Wars and wait. Alright, so what happens is I invite the new person first, but he's not in Happy Wars right now. Because, you know, I invited him, and, you know, he told me to invite him, but he's not waiting on Happy Wars. So, guess what's going to happen? The old guy, let's say Tony, gets invited as well. Tony's going to be waiting Happy Wars. He's going to get in. Reason why? Because you have to go through the loading screens of Happy Wars. You have to, you know, click on it. And now you have to wait. And now you have to wait again. Now you have to wait like one or two matches. Because of that. So I'm just letting you guys know. If you really want to play with me, that's how you do it. You know, you got to look for me playing online. Check Facebook. Facebook's the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, just wait for a play date and look for official timing. Like I said, I, I, you know, I'm trying my best for you guys to play with you guys. Because I get so many people saying, oh, I give up, I give up. That's how you do it, guys. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, that's how, you, how it's done, guys. There's the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. There's Happy Wars. You know, I, there's a bunch of games coming out that I'm going to be doing. Like, this channel is going to be flooded with videos. Of new stuff soon so you know stick around like donkey kong final fantasy lightning returns a kitty game that you guys will probably laugh at me playing because i'm 23 years old and i'm playing like something that's for like a toddler <sighs> well we'll see how that goes oh uh, what else what else dragon ball z you know ball of z i'm gonna do that if you guys already didn't see me play the demo demo does you know transfer to the real game so i'm gonna be playing that as well I'm probably going to play Tales of Symphonia, you know, Chronicles and all that, because it's my favorite Tales. I love Tales of Symphonia. That, that's what brought me into the Tales series. And it is not my number one type of game to play, like Tales of Vesperia, Graces, you know, Exilia. I'll do Exilia 2, of course, when it comes out sometime this year. So... Just letting you guys know, I think that's about it. I'm recording the finals on Friday or uh, Sunday. I told them to be there. Otherwise, I'm disqualifying someone. In. Because it's it's gone on long enough, you know. I, I gave them plenty of time. I mean, that's, you know, plenty of time. I really want a match, though. That's why I extended it for another week. Because I really want a match. But, I, you know, after this week, I'm not going to sit online all day waiting for someone to come on. Because that's what I did on Saturday and Sunday. I sat online. Waiting almost the entire day. Waiting and waiting and waiting for both of them to be on at the same time. Nothing happened. Sunday, same thing. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Till finally we got the matches done. So, you know, it's kind of hard being a 
doing a tournament, waiting and waiting and waiting, so. Alright guys, so that's it, you know, thank you so much for all the support, I know I haven't been throwing up too much, because, you know, I felt kind of sick, and, and let me get a drink, I'm already getting tired. I'm already getting tired, because I, I did commentary earlier for the, uh, the, uh, the 1v1 videos, the semifinals, so. I did all that, and now I'm doing this, so. But yeah, it's winter time. I get, you know, I work at a school. Kids get sick, and that's why I didn't do commentary. Because my throat was starting to hurt again, and I was like, uh-uh, I'm not going to put strain on my voice again and then be stuck by doing nothing, and my voice is going to be, you know, bad again, and I'm not going to be able to say shit again. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. So that's pretty much what happened, guys. So, excuse me, God, I'm burping like crazy. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. So we'll be back in a little bit with some uh, other stuff. You know, I'll be looking forward to the Bounty Hunter, which should be coming up. Maybe the same day it comes out. I'm going to be like lightning quick. I'm going to be like, Phew. if not, it's going to be on the, the next day for sure. Because I really want to, you know, let you guys see what Bounty Hunter is and what it does or what you're supposed to do. I don't even know what it's supposed to do. And hopefully give something good. And hopefully it ain't like Castle Defense sucks can't even beat it <laughs> now i'm already mad all right so i'll be back okay later guys see ya